In today's video, I'll be showing you around Kuala Lumpur's Bukit Jalil City and covering everything that you need to know from hotel accommodation to shopping and more. Alright, so let's now walk around and explore what this hotel has to offer. We are up here in the roof. It's empty, I'm the only one here. Oh wait, no, there's someone swimming. But I like this area, it looks really lovely. Here's the pool. I'm assuming this is the kids pool, 0.45. And then we've got the normal, at least like an infinity pool, pretty cool. Fortunately, I did not bring any gear for swimming. There's no lifeguard, so it's just gonna be you and other hotel guests, your family, whatever. So yeah, I like the view. All right, now I really wish I brought my swimming gear so I could be at the edge of the pool and show you what's around there and you know, how it looks from there. Oh, my foot's dropping, no, I'm joking. So yeah, I wish I could do that, but unfortunately, I'm not dressed for the occasion. Here we've got a nice kind of like artificial grass area. This would be perfect if you have like your sibling or something, you have a football. You can play like passing. You can even do like a 5v5. I'm not sure if that's allowed. If you're, anyone from the hotel is watching this and you're not allowed to do that, please forgive me. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. But anyway, it's a lovely area. It's very cozy. And yeah, it's definitely somewhere that you want to be. Right, so we are now here at the hotel entrance. Right, this is where you would be dropped off if you're taking like, like a taxi, a car, whatsoever. You've got an empty cafe over there and then it's just the entrance. This is not where you check in. Check-in is a level one, this is just the concierge. So, if you're like ordering food in and then you want them to drop off the food, this is where it'll be. So this lift brings you down to the valet parking where the car park is. So, so from the valet parking, right, you're actually walking through this area over here, opposite the evacuation sign, right? And then there's this glass entrance where you enter to the hotel. So we're currently at B and then obviously go up and then check-in will be not at G, not at the hotel entrance, but at level 1 where the hotel reception is. That is where the check-in is, not here. So that's if you're coming from the car park. I just love how cozy and quiet this hotel is. It's not those overpopulated hotels in the heart of the city where there's like so many people. You can't even walk past the lobby without bumping into anyone. But it's just something about the quietness and the peacefulness of somewhere like here. We are still in Kuala Lumpur, you know? We're still in the capital city of Malaysia. But it's, it doesn't feel like super touristy this part. It feels really cozy if you're here for like if you want to escape from that busyness but you're still in Kuala Lumpur, maybe you're a local and you're coming to this hotel for like a staycation. Honestly, I love it. And that over there is the gym. So if there's any gym rats, please let me know in the comment section. We've got a nice little gym over here. All right, there's one person inside. To the right, it just looks like a staff area. Okay, these are the changing rooms. I won't film too much of it for obvious reasons. And here is the gym. Let me get my key card. So in the gym, right to your right, is a yoga studio. There's some foam rollers here, towels for you to use. And then here, we've got our weights department. You've got some of this, uh, I forgot what it's called, these balls. Um, as you can see, again, I'm not dressed for the occasion. I'm not going to be doing any workout looking like this. I'm not trying to get kicked out of the gym. But it's a nice, small, cozy gym. It hasn't got like all the equipment in the world that you'll be looking for, but I think it does the job. You can get a nice, lovely, basic to intermediate workout done. You know, you've got some machines, you've got obviously your treadmill and your bicycles for cardio, but you know, if you're here for holiday, you just want to burn off some calories towards the night and you're looking for some place to chill, or if you just do not want to miss a workout, I think you can get a pretty decent workout done. So yeah, that's the gym, and that's a yoga studio. Can we go in? Oh yeah, we can go in. I can imagine, you know, you and your friends or your family or your gang or whoever coming here, and when I say gang, I mean like, you know, your workout gang, you know, your partners. Coming here, doing some workout, I can imagine doing some Zumba as well. Some, you know, <laughs> all sorts. And let's, again, take a look at the view. You know me, I'm, I love my views. Alright, okay, so this is actually the view from my hotel room as well. I'll show you guys that in a bit, once we do a room tour. But again, I'm not sure if it's another hotel or an apartment. Looks more like an apartment. Over there, there's like a park. We're not really going to explore too much of the area, but it looks really lovely. Like I said, we may not be in the heart of KL where, you know, the Twin Towers is and everything, but it's still a really lovely neighbourhood area here at Bukit Jalil. And it's definitely somewhere that I will want to come back in the future and explore more of. Because That's what travelling is all about. It's about exploring, seeing new places and making the best out of your stay at whatever country you're at. 
And where we are right now, it's about roughly 20 kilometers away from KLCC where the Twin Towers are. Now to some people that may be a bit of a problem because with KL traffic that can be like 45 minutes to even an hour's drive. With public transport, I'm only going to assume that it's longer than that. Yeah. But some people, if you're coming to KL for the city centre, this hotel might be a little bit out of, out of the way. Unless, like I said, you prefer somewhere that is a bit more quiet, a bit more away from the crowd, you don't mind travelling for an hour or so, then I think this place is perfect. It's calming, it's relaxing, you know, the whole view around me. I'm having a great time, ladies and gentlemen, talking to you guys, just missing a cup of coffee. And yeah, I'm always happy to bring you guys along with me on this fantastic journey. Please like and follow for more. And also, also, something really, really important. This place is really near the Pukul Jalil Stadium. So, if you're here for maybe a football match, performance or something, maybe you're part of an event at the Bukit Jalil Stadium, then I think this hotel is just perfect. It's, I'm not really sure how long it takes by walking, but it was literally like on the drive here, it's literally just like less than five minutes away. By the way, let's see what else this hotel has offered. So currently we're on the roof. Roof? I can't believe I thought R was underground. I'm gonna go to the fitness center in the pool. This is where we're going to level R. Level R, what does that stand for? By the way, we're going down. So I'm assuming it's below underground. Nope, it wasn't down. R stands for roof. Obviously, what else was I thinking? Obviously, R stands for roof, so it's all the way up. And now let's see the hotel reception and hotel entrance. If you've got late night cravings, you can literally come down here, grab yourself like a frozen pizza, grab yourself some chicken, and then there's a microwave there for you to reheat. This is not something that you see at most hotels, there's obviously drinks as well over here. And lots of snacks. Whether it's midday cravings, late night cravings, you can literally just come down over to this side of the hotel, right next to the check-in area. You can grab yourself, it's not free, you've got to pay for it. But yeah, maybe the shopping mall is closed. There's no room service. Or maybe you just want to grab some souvenir last minute to bring home. You could even get literally a hotel room. <laughs> and we are in the first thing is the toilet to your left. And you see us a look at the toilet, it's pretty small, but I think it does the job. I like the aesthetic, it's clean. It looks good. Just definitely enough space okay. here. To some of you, it may not be a problem, but there's no rain shower. It's just your shower head, but no rain shower. Apart from it, I think it's lovely. The hot water is actually really hot. I'm not complaining, that's great. But like this, right towards the blue, is really, really warm. Too hot, actually. So just be careful. If you don't check the temperature before you actually go in, you've only got yourself to bring. And this is not a fire alarm or a smoke detector. I thought that too at first. It's just actually like this to hang your clothes you can attach to this area over there pretty cool at first i thought oh wow why is there a smoke detector in the toilet wouldn't it just go off but no it's not it's for you to hang your clothes and then as you come in hello you've got two single beds you've got a bed which could be a sofa bed in my opinion we're now at the workstation right this is my mic cover this is my macbook and hey don't ask me why i'm still using this laptop cover that they gave me back in secondary 2 which was in 2021 that was three long years ago yeah i, I like it. it it works well and it does the job it does the job ladies and gentlemen oh yeah one really good thing about this table so long and there's just so much space to do my work here even if i were to order in i could literally like lay the food over here and normally at some hotels there's like really limited space table room not really a complaint but there has actually been a problem with the wi-fi and if, as, if you guys know wi-fi is like super important but not to worry it's not too much of a problem because the hotel actually gave us an alternative wi-fi to log into which i think is probably the staff wi-fi or something but it's a bit of a bummer that the normal hotel wi-fi is down but no complaints you know things like this happen it can happen at any hotel in the world it can happen in any building in the world there's been an it shortage in the world lately anyway all right so here's a daytime view you can see nice roads over there again more buildings and this i've got no clue what this is i'm only gonna assume that they're gonna be building something here there's a flood <laughs> and yeah previously at the swimming pool area but yeah let me know what you think of this view it's nothing crazy there's no like i said twin towers or uh, some tourist attraction here and let me know in the comment section ladies and gentlemen what kind of view person are you are you someone who wants to see the sea are you someone who wants to see tourist attractions do you guys not care could the view literally just be another building and a white wall that you can't see anything or are you okay with those hotels with just no windows let's say no no for me 
You need to have a window. I'm not too picky about the view. Sea view is always the best though. But yeah, just as long as you know you can get some sunlight, as long as you can look outside and know that there's something to look at. So this is the ground floor. So early on we were inside there. Now we are here at the Bukit Jalil city area. So we're now walking towards the mall, which is over there. You see that building with the no entry sign, that's the car park. Well, that's the exit of the car park. And we're now just walking. It's called Pavilion Bukit Jalil. So it's not pavilion at the... So this pavilion is not the same pavilion in the city centre of Kuala Lumpur near you know, Bukit Bintang. This is not Bukit Bintang's pavilion. This is the pavilion at Bukit Jalil. And obviously the hotel is just there. You see that building? That's the hotel. Literally just a stone throws away. And apart from the mall, there's all these like shop houses to my right. So right now a lot of them are closed. Could be because it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. They'll probably open soon. So yeah, if you're around here, I think it would be really nice and the good vibe would be at night. Just going for a night walk here. Brilliant. Now is it called Pavilion or is it called Park Sing? Listen ladies and gentlemen, you guys are on this journey and we will find out things together. Right, cool, so we've just asked the guides and we've got more clarity now. So this Park Sing, it's not called, the, the mall's not called Park Sing. This is just a kind of a shop with clothes. It's a apparel, oh that's a nice shirt. It's a nice apparel place and it's just connecting into the mall. So yeah, this is the entrance if you're like walking from the hotel. Enter Park Sing's and then come in to this shopping mall that you can see over here. I will be incredibly honest. This mall is extremely quiet and pretty dead. But you know what? I don't blame it because it's only 11, 10 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. So obviously people have school, people have work. So and obviously if like Singaporeans coming over, it's they don't, they don't normally come on weekdays. They come on weekends. So I can assume this place being like buzzing and full of people during the weekends, but. On a Wednesday morning, this is what you can expect. A bit more quietness and you know, if this is what you like, if you want the whole mall to yourself, come down on a weekday ladies and gentlemen. Well, not the whole mall to yourself, there's still people, but you know what I mean. Uh, so guess who's decided to check them out. I'm gonna try them for myself ladies and gentlemen. I just could not get my eyes off these shirts. If you know me, this is my type of clothing. So we're gonna go try it out. At the changing room, if I can find it. By the way, this Parkson um, clothing place has so many brands. We've got over there Polo, Bonia, Anchor. There's like so many places here for you to get your clothing. I literally just walked past the fitting room. Yeah, there's a lot of brands over here. And there's clothing for all age groups. I'm literally talking from babies. Oh, from literally from babies to your grandparents. Yeah, there's one. There's, I'm trying to close the door. There's something for everyone here, so yeah, let's try on the shirt. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next time.